Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to my 2021 Christmas in July crafting series. I wanted to inspire you a bit, do the Christmas in July again. It was a hit last year. So this year is no different. It's complete with the cheesy twinkling lights and my flip-flop Santa. So grab a cold drink and let's get started. For this project, I'm using this nativity decor piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm also using some other supplies. Uh, my base of my project is an 11 by 14 inch canvas, and I am going to just use some milk chocolate acrylic paint, and I am just going to paint the whole thing inside and around the outside uh, with two coats of this paint. I'll go around the entire canvas with my stiff stencil brush and a wooden stick and some buttermilk paint and just splatter paint the entire uh, canvas. I'll also go around the uh, front of the edges. Now for the nativity decor, I'm just giving it a coat of black paint and just acrylic paint, nothing, you know, no fancy paint or anything. And I'm just taking a paintbrush and just going around the top because the edges are uh, like lasered and they're already brown. So I don't need to waste my time with that. So I am just giving um, this thing, I just want like it to look like a silhouette. And I'm leaving the part where the star is because I plan to paint that gold. For my star, I wanted to add some gold paint, but this puffy paint in gold was the only thing I had on hand. And so it is a bit translucent. Uh, you can kind of see through it, but that's okay. I gave it a couple of coats of that. Well, then I discovered that um, it, since it's translucent, you can see through it. And so I decided to go over the nativity decor uh, over that black and just give it a bit of glitter uh, to it. I know there are a lot of my friends and family that uh, gasp at glitter, but glitter doesn't bother me too much. Uh, and this doesn't flake off or anything, but I think it looks really pretty. For my O oh Holy Night sign, I'm using just this wooden plaque. Um, I get it in a set from the craft store. I'm just giving it a coat of uh, buttermilk paint. And then with my black paint in my brush, I am just going to give it a border. I paint the sides first and then I just go around and kind of just free handing it uh, because I don't want it to be all straight. And then I'm going to go back and hand letter O oh Holy Night. Before I hand letter, I took that uh, gold puffy paint, which is translucent, and I went over the border. Um, once I finish the entire sign, I will go back over it, but I was kind of doing things in stages. I wasn't sure um, that it did. You know, this puffy paint is translucent and you kind of went over it and, you know, it, 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 it gave it a really nice, pretty effect, which I really like. Anyway, so then now I'm just um, taking some brown, that milk chocolate paint, and I'm just doing some shading where the... Um, buttermilk paint meets the black and just you know with a flat paintbrush I just um, dip half of my brush in paint the other half in clean water and that's how I shade my signs uh, so then now what I'm doing is I have a Posca pen it is a PC-5M it is a um, 
kind of like a paint pen and uh, I'm just hand lettering Oh Holy Night. Um, and, you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know, I love my happy dots on the ends of my letters. And so that's what I've decided to do here. And so as I was going along, I was doing my dots and I was like, something, it, something just doesn't feel right. And so there was just like a little piece of, I don't know, paint or something um, that was hindering me making my sweet little happy dots. And so once I was able to, you know, clean that off, I was able to go back and make my dots this size that I wanted them to. So anyway, you know, no matter how long I've been doing this, obstacles always, you know, stand in my way or, um, you know, things happen. I also put a layer of the puffy paint uh, in gold over my sign because it's, uh, like I said, it's translucent and it just makes everything sweet and starry. For my canvas, I'm using these uh, two pieces of scrapbook paper. Both of them came from Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm just trying to figure out, I want my, of course, my nativity to be the focal part uh, focal point of it. And so I'm just trying to figure out how I want my um, night sky to be. So I end up um, turning over the paper and then just taping them together. And then I'm really just going to kind of piece them in uh, inside the canvas. The canvas has that wooden frame. And so um, there's like a gap in between. And so that I can slip my paper in there. It's just kind of trying to figure out how I want my paper to go. Um, you know, I didn't want it, you know, just to get the night, st the night sky um, kind of the way that I wanted it. So I had to uh, trim off uh, a little bit of the paper and uh, finagle with it a little bit. I'm going to put my trim around uh, the canvas and I have two trims that I'm using. This one right here came from Hobby Lobby and um, I'm going to put that one on first, just hot gluing it on. The second uh, trim came from the Dollar Tree and I just, uh, like I said, hot glue everything on and uh, until it's all secure. Just adding some fine excelsior to the bottom of my canvas uh, before I put on my nativity silhouette uh, decor piece. I just think the um, excelsior adds uh, a hay effect and also a bit of whimsy. Also using some of that puffy paint, a gold uh, translucent paint, I'm just going over the uh, scrapbook paper just to give it, you know, some enhancement and uh, some sparkle to it. For dimension, I'm using some of these tumbling tower blocks or Jenga blocks. I just painted them black so they would blend in with my nativity uh, decor. And so then I'm just hot gluing the blocks to the back of the nativity decor. Um, I've already figured out where I, you know, make sure that they, that I need them placed. And then I'll hot glue that to the frame. 
And so, um, like I said, I've already kind of figured out where I needed them to be glued to the nativity decor so that I wouldn't get it too low or, you know, sticking out or that kind of thing. And so then um, for the Oh Holy Night sign, I thought that I was going to uh, do dimension blocks as well. And, but I decided to just glue that, you know, put some hot glue at the top and then just glue it straight to the top of that uh, frame. For a hanger, I'm going to use some of these wooden beads. Now I am not, I'm going to get questions about those, that black and brown strand I got from Walmart in the Christmas section. And the other two came from Hobby Lobby, one from the fall section, and then the other is from the Christmas shop. And so I just took off um, some of the black and the brown, and then I just have that, uh, the, the larger one, which is from the fall garland from Hobby Lobby. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two black, one, uh, two brown, and then the larger one I'm going to put in the middle. I'm using some wire. Um, I got this wire from Michaels a while back. I found it in the floral section. It was hanging there with the other floral wire, um, you know, in their store. And so um, I just like to do my uh, beads on wire because I get irritated and you know, I fumble and uh, anyway, it just works better for me. Anyway, so I'm doing two black, two brown, and then the larger one in the middle. And I'm just kind of twisting, um, like when I get a set done, uh, just kind of twisting that because I'm going to put some ribbon bows in between uh, the little sections of the bead. To attach the um, wire beads to my frame, I just used my electric staple gun and I just stapled the wire to the frame and then um, actually did it a couple of times. And uh, to cover those staples up, I'm using these buttons. Now I had these buttons uh, on hand and so then they're kind of, they were like in a pack and they're just... You know, you can ha get old buttons anywhere. Uh, anyway, but these had the little uh, like buttonhole or button loop on the back. And so I just took my wire cutters and just cut that off. And then that hides uh, those staples up very nicely. I just hot glued uh, a couple of sticks of the branches as well as the greenery to my little nativity. I just kind of played with it a little bit just to figure out uh, exactly how much and uh, where I wanted it to stick out of. And then I'm going to make a little junk bow. I just had this uh, ribbon left and so I said oh, I'll make a little bow to add to the top so I have um, just some of that buffalo uh, black and white buffalo check and then some of the lace trims everything I use on this uh, decor and then I have some I like to use this jewelry cording and I make uh, bows out of it and add that to my uh, junk bow or messy bow or refab bow, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a cute little bow to make to add to your uh, creations. Mm -hmm. 